And welcome back to The Factor on Sensor Time for Dr. Angela Jones, Angela After Dark. Having a partner with a wandering eye can be annoying, but it should never warrant violence. Sandra Jimenez is facing aggravated battery after allegedly stabbing her boyfriend <laughs> in the eye with a rabies needle used for dogs. According to Florida police, she attacked the man during an argument about checking other women out in the eye That's with a rabies needle used for dogs. Let's bring in Dr. Angela Jones to talk about the dangers of jealousy. And what we just heard in the previous segment, mm -hmm. Dr. Jones, involving the, the young couple here in Houston, that could potentially involve yeah. jealousy because he doesn't want her with anyone else, right. according to police, mm -hmm. and took her life. Took her life, How yeah. dangerous can... I just answered it. It's dangerous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> deadly. It, it can be deadly, and that is unfortunately like on the scale of ten, right? That's where it can lead to. But a lot of people don't believe that's where they can be mm. if they feel a little jealous. They're like, "Oh, that's never going to be me." But some the, people even like it. Some people even like it, yeah, right? That and so, someone is jealous over them. Right. Right. So, and, and it's a dangerous game that we play, right? So jealousy is a first person issue, which means it's my issue. It's not mm -hmm. anybody else's issue. And it usually stems from a place of like insecurity. Insecure that I'm gonna lose you. Insecure that uh, you can be taken from me. Or insecure that I'm not good enough and therefore everyone else is better than me. And even in that case that we were just talking about, insecure that you know, you'll leave me and someone else will have you and therefore I want no one else to have you. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's a very scary thing, but unfortunately it's a very, very common feeling that a lot of people experience in relationships. Now, how do you deal with that as a couple if you know your significant other mm -hmm. is jealous very jealous to the point of being dangerous how do you address that with that person I mean I'm sure there were breadcrumbs that were along the way that showed you that this person was jealous at first you probably thought it was endearing sweet oh she really cares for me or he really cares for me and that's how she, you know they show that they love me and then it progressively gets worse it usually doesn't just come out of the gate mm -hmm. that way to level 10 it never really does it usually is very small to the point that you realize like oh my god I'm in public and I'm embarrassed because this person just did this. Or, or this, you can't go out in public and can't. they won't allow you to go out. Exactly. And it becomes controlling and it's all because of what's going on inside of that person. Mm -hmm. Not anything about the other person. It's usually I feel threatened because you are attractive and it makes me feel insecure or I see this woman passing by you like that lady who stabs her boyfriend in the eye, I see you looking at someone else, so therefore I feel like I'm not cute enough and you want that person. That's an insecurity that I'm having. But how do you deal with that with the other person? Mm -hmm. Is that even possible? It is, it is. I mean, you, you have to talk to them at first, but you have to at least, I mean, don't ignore these red flags. And mm -hmm. these are red flags. All the breadcrumbs are red flags. Talk to them about it. Ask them what is going on. You know, the way you resolve jealousy within yourself in a relationship is to at least acknowledge, like, I'm, I'm feeling jealous and I don't know what to do about it because usually it's deeper than that. Mm -hmm. You know, talk to them, ask them what's going on, but just make sure you don't change who you are for someone else to, to cater to their insecurities. You could just talk to them about it, try to understand it, but that doesn't mean you really technically have to change who you are. And then if it keeps on going, then, then you're gonna have to make a decision. All right, Dr. Angela Jones, good to see you here on The Factor. Mm -hmm. I know you're having leg problems, <laughs> but you came here. I did, I hopped all the way <laughs> here just for you, here that's just right. For us. Thank you.